We're still in Canada. We're here in Canada. I can't believe we're in Canada. Yeah, yeah, Canada. Gonna go eat food in Canada. Canadian food. Woo! It's your girl Miranda, also known as Uprooted Foodie. I just went over 100 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome to the foodie fam. I love that you're here and I hope that we can go on some fun foodie adventures together. Today I am in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We just came from Montreal. And that video will be linked below or up here and it was so much fun so many good surprises loved eating our way through montreal as is the case with montreal and toronto there are so many restaurants that are vegan friendly and so many vegan restaurants so be sure to stick around and see what kind of food we taste currently we are staying at the Executive Hotel Cosmopolitan. It's a beautiful little apartment style hotel right in the middle of everything. You can walk everywhere. So that's where I'm staying, which means we are in walking distance to a lot of delicious eats. This morning, we went ahead and started our day at Fresh. It is a chain restaurant around Toronto. There are a million items on the menu and it is entirely plant-based and vegan. We had some iced lattes and iced Americano. Then we moved on to cocktails. I got an Aperol Spritz, which I don't think I filmed, and Kyle got a dry rosé. Food-wise, we ended up ordering kind of a tapas style of varieties. <laughs> Kyle ordered a burrito with a side salad, which was very fresh, very whole foody. Didn't taste like your typical super indulgent burrito, but it was also very flavorful and fresh. So that was a nice brunch option. Then we shared a soup that was a black bean berber and hominy soup. If you don't know, like I didn't really know, berber is an Ethiopian spice and it just adds a little bit of heat at the back of your throat, which was delicious. We opted for an upgrade with cornbread and hummus, which I thought was interesting, but the hummus on top of the cornbread went very well with the soup and was very filling. We also ordered some dumplings because how can you say no to dumplings? They were crispy, they were fluffy, they were packed with greens and some other vegetables but they didn't taste overly green. They tasted very indulgent and savory like a good dumpling is. And there was a surprise little aioli pile in the middle of the plate topped with green onions and lime to squeeze over all of it. Along the same vein as the dumplings, we ordered an Asian style vegan poutine and that was also delicious. Poutine in Canada is a thing. Look it up if you're not familiar with it, but obviously on this channel, we're looking for the vegan poutine and we found plenty of it in Canada. They were called dragon fries. They were a cheddary, cheesy, Asian style poutine. Very popular at the restaurant, they said, and so we had to try it and I'm glad that we did. The sad thing is they don't always keep well, so, we had to leave our leftovers, but uh, trust me when I say, if you wanna order this, you get plenty of it, it's filling, and it's delicious. We didn't really want dessert, but I said, well, we're in Canada, let's try something that might be unique to this area. We found Nanaimo, which is a Canadian dessert based out of British Columbia, or at least created in British Columbia. It is usually some sort of wafer layer on the bottom made out of nuts or some other items. And then the middle is usually like a custard filling with a top tier that is kind of a chocolate layer. This one was a peppermint Nanaimo bar and the bottom face was more like a really thick fudge or like a brownie fudge bottom. And then the custard in the middle was very, very light. I didn't think it had much of a custard texture but maybe there are different types of custard I'm not familiar with. Either way, this was a very light and 
palate cleansing dessert because of the peppermint flavor, also probably good for digestion after a big meal. So that was fresh, and I just wanted to give you the rundown of that while that is fresh in my mind. And we're gonna see what else we get into tonight, um, and then maybe again tomorrow morning. So come along for the ride and see what Toronto has to offer for vegan eats. We are about to head to the St. Lawrence Market and see if we can grab some breakfast and coffee and whatever else there is to offer. It's supposed to be like there's an antique market, there's a farmer's market, and there's just like a vendor market, I think. So we'll Ooh. check it out. our bagels upstairs we ventured downstairs to check out the rest of the market they had plenty of snacks and fresh fruits and vegetables you could even find maple syrup and trust me there was plenty of maple syrup to be found at the st lawrence market we took a pause at a little coffee shop and got a vegan lemon cookie and this was a rose lavender latte. Minotas had great Latin options, and of course, we had to try their vegan empanadas. We took a stroll down to the park and had ourselves a little empanada picnic. we picked up Beechwood Donuts, which was actually not in Toronto, but was a little bit further southwest in St. Catharines. Very charming downtown and very close to Niagara Falls. Birthday cake, watermelon sugar, <laughs> peach cobbler, cookie dough, blueberry maple fritter. That's it. That's nuts. It's a little crooked, but 
then again, so am I. I'm trying this watermelon sugar donut right now. Yup, that's a good time. Let's try cookie dough. That's seriously fucked up. What? Birthday cake. That's fucked up too. Peach cobbler. There's compote in there. It tastes like a pie donut. Wow. at least a little bite of this blueberry maple fritter. The smell on this one, I'm telling you. Oh. That's f oh boy. It tastes like funnel cake. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Shannon, for the recommendation for Beachwood Donuts. These are the best donuts I think I've ever had. They were kind of a difficult thing to arrange. I happened to look at their website last night and you have to order the day before. So I put in an order last minute for the last available slot of their day, knowing that it would take a minute to get out of Toronto. They're freaking delicious. It's illegal. You gonna eat that whole donut? He's gonna do it. I might. I wanna eat the whole cookie dough one, but I don't wanna eat a bunch of sugar right now because donuts can make me a scary person. That's it though, that's it. Say bye bye, Kyle. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Mmm. <laughs> That's all I've got for you for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and comment below if you saw anything that really struck your fancy or if you have any suggestions for where we should try in Toronto next time. But again, that's all. If you're curious about entering Canada at this time and how we did that safely and legally, <laughs> you can go check out the Kyle and Miranda vlog channel. We talk a lot more about our travel activities over there and this channel is pretty much strictly just for the foodie side of things. See you on the next one. Bye. Bonus footage. I just went to Tim Hortons for the first time. Kyle ordered something called an iced cap and they have almond milk. It's not just iced, it's a frappe. So an iced cap with almond milk does happen to be the. It's delicious. Let's have this one with you. Tim Hortons is up. Mm -hmm.